welcome friends, family. We are Bliss Goddess. We aim to embody the principles of the divine feminine and inspire and empower other awakening souls. We meet together regularly and study the wisdoms of the divine feminine. This month, we were drawn to the topic of passion. Passion is a force that drives lovers into each other's arms, but it is not only the push and pursuit towards pleasure. Where there is passion, there is an intensity, a drive, a surge of energy towards your relationships, your higher purpose, your values, your mission, your goals, your vision for the future. When we sat in sacred circle, it became clear to us that the vital fire of passion not only fuels the pursuit of our desires, but can quickly become an out of control blaze. And when passion is left unchecked, it can burn us and others. What we've come to understand is that passion must be coupled with conscious intention in order to serve the highest good. We invite you to identify with us your greatest passion. What happens when the insatiable appetite of your passion is running you? Then consider what happens instead when you are applying conscious, conscious intention to your passion, driving it with the intensity of awareness. We'd like to share with you a few of the things we've learned about our own passions. My passion is for beauty. I love to make things beautiful faces, create spaces. There's such, there's such joy to be found there. And when I let it take me over, a lot of things happen. I become perfectionistic. I keep finding what's not beautiful enough, what's not just so. And I lose sight of what's really important. But when I'm really in line with how beauty can serve and how I can drive my passion. What happens is a flow of creativity and a sharing of the delight that I do have contributed to. My passion is compassion. It compels me to assist others in cultivating heightened levels of awareness and inner peace. When my passion takes me over, it leads me to suffering if I fail at my mission. It leads me to neglect my own inner peace. Ironically, leading to righteousness and tolerance and bitterness. When I move forward in life with conscious passion, something else happens. It allows me to love and respect the being that you are and the being that I am, wherever we are, wherever we are not, allowing transformation to happen in its own time while maintaining my state of inner peace.
present moment, and always looking for the newness of the future. I find that balance by remembering the beauty in the ordinary and the mundane, in each breath and each person, by living for today and falling back in love with the magic of the now. Love you. 